here you go. Yeah, it took a while. I mean, I will explain why it like did this. It's like not the most precise electronics I use, but nevertheless, it works. So, how I did it? So, I found this software on Shape. Uh, it's like web-based online uh, CAD system where you can actually design stuff and you can then just download 3D models. And it's actually quite straightforward. I mean, well, I do have like a a generic engineering education, which means that I also did some, you know, cut drawings and stuff like that, measurements and whatever stuff they like teach in like Russian university. So nevertheless, it took me like a few iterations and then I kind of like would design something, print it out, try it out. And I actually even like posted something on my Instagram stories, which is in Russian, sorry, but I mean, I. I think you can still capture the idea how I was progressing with that project. And I kind of improved my design with every step. And then I tried a couple of like awesome things like uh, this sliding, sliding lid, for example, for a battery. I really like how it turned out. And I really like that it kind of looks, you know, uh, kind of professionally manufactured, even though it's like not really uh, and I did this for the first time um, on the electronic side it's like a pretty much the same electronics as I like used in for my first build and I actually excited to uh, find out that you still can buy this controller board for gimbal but not on AliExpress on the other side I will put the link down below in the description box so I shot few demo clips just to show you how it performs and please keep in mind that electronics is just 8 bit electronic board uh, versus like 32 uh, electronic boards that kind of comes with this thing so it's not that precise and like uh, it's like relatively old so let's say i did like a walking demo and i did running demo and i also did like uh both demos with gobro 5 session stabilization turned on and off so you can compare Um, so walking test is pretty pretty smooth even without this uh, internal additional stabilization that GoPro provides you uh, running is shaky and like you know pretty much any modern uh, gimbal would just blow this thing out of the water but I mean it's like for the buck and for something that's been sitting on my shelf and for something that I'm uh, you know intend to use only for like walking shots and like maybe you know handheld shots when I want to get this additional kind of smooth uh, panoramic and stuff like that it will, will work crazy like for me so having all those results i also already do have some improvements uh, in mind i would do so first uh, the battery i uh, like using 9 volt battery is not very practical well you kind of can buy it in pretty much any grocery store and if you buy a decent one it will like keep the charge i actually don't know how long but that's the battery i have inside it's actually been there since two years already and it still kind of have enough juice to power this thing and like but nevertheless of course i can switch to one of those nine volt uh you know batteries like rechargeable ones and like recharge but it's i mean still uh it's like it's nine volts and it, you better off with like 12 volts or, or something like that so i'm thinking of combined three elements of 18350 batteries um, and then it will give me about like 12 volts like a little bit under this is like an equivalent of 3s 
uh, LiPo battery. For those of you who fly drones, you may very well aware of the this terminology. Um, so, and I can even combine six of those, and then it's gonna be you know like three in series, and like then uh, you know two uh, units in parallel. So it will give me even more charge. But for that, I'm gonna need to actually redesign the handle because neither it fits like three pieces uh, like vertically nor it fits like two pieces uh, horizontally so it has to become a bigger and bulkier and like whatnot so second of all control so i would really like to have like a little joystick here and then have this camera you know going up and down because sometimes when you want to sh like do this shut down and up i cannot do this because well obviously it's gimbal it's his job to like you know keep this camera stable so uh, a little joystick would do the trick but i actually bought one from aliexpress and it's so gigantic it actually you know it like it's the size of this lead it's like uh it's gonna be so bulky so now i'm thinking of maybe two buttons or something like that if it will even work i don't know um i'm gonna try like putting those buttons here and yeah you know like just pressing it like and it's going down and it's going up and a third button actually to just return it to a uh, um, initial position so to speak so um yeah but am i going to do it right now no i am actually this time i would like to you know give it a try and see if i actually use it because well last time it's been like as i said like two years me not using it at all so i just built something that was sitting on sitting on my shelf and like not being used so yeah so uh, this time i really would like to make sure that i actually use it before i invest more time in that Nevertheless, it was like fun project to do and like uh, as a conclusion like should you build one and uh, no I mean if you do have all the hardware already then sure I'm out open sourcing my design just go ahead download it and like print it out and like just build one for you if you have already everything uh, otherwise I think you 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 gotta be better off if you just buy one of those like 100 150 bucks gimbals off market it's gonna be uh you know look more kind of professional whatnot and it's uh most probably gonna deliver um better results and like especially in under certain conditions like running shaking uh, or whatever motorbiking you're gonna be using it but nevertheless it was a fun project for me as i said and maybe fun project for you to watch just to kind of uh, you know get the idea of what is possible when you just have like a basic uh, designing skills plus 3d printer plus like a little bit of imagination you actually can do quite a lot and with that i want to thank you for watching this and i see you next time